I'm Noelle, and welcome to The Daily Devo, where we ask big questions and wrestle with important topics together as the family of God. First, let's go enjoy the power of physics. Hey friends, it's Love Week, and we're gonna get messy to show you how love is messy. That being said, which one will splat more, this cantaloupe or this watermelon? Stay tuned to find out at the end of the episode. And there you have it. This week, we're talking about love, and today, belonging. We all have a favorite belongings, but what do you belong to? Who do you belong to? Where do you belong? But have you ever gone to a beautiful place and said, oh, I belong here. Or maybe you're doing a favorite activity. <laughs> Perfect. I belong here. <sighs> oh yes, this is where I belong. <laughs> The feeling of belonging makes us feel like we're home, at peace, where we can be ourselves. Belonging helps us know who we are. One place I hope you feel like you belong is your family. Do they celebrate your victories? When bad stuff happens, do you get through it together? A few years ago, my great-grandma passed away, and my family all shared in that loss together. It was hard, it was sad, but because we had each other, we made it through and it brought us closer together. Another place it feels great to belong is with your friends. When we meet good friends, we often say, ooh, these are my people. Because you can talk about anything. You can be goofy together and you can disagree and, and still be friends because they are your people. See, time for a secret. Time for a secret. God says you belong to him. You are his people. We are his people. Now, how do we know that? Uh, we hear it a lot in the Bible. Let's take a look on the Bible Rama 3000. Zechariah 8 8. And I will bring them back, and they will live in the midst of Jerusalem, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God in truth and righteousness. Jeremiah 32 38. They will be my people, and I will be their God. So what does it mean to be God's people? It means he created us with a purpose, for a purpose, and he wants to be friends with us. It means we are never ever really alone. Maybe you haven't found your best friends yet, and that's okay. Our sense of belonging to life can change. Even our feelings of belonging to our families can change over time as new people get born or get married or go to heaven. If there are times when you feel like you don't belong, it's pretty lonely. But here's the good news. Belonging to God is deeper than any other belonging, no matter what happens in your life. You belong to God, and no one can take that away from you. In Romans 8.38, the Apostle Paul says, For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor demons, neither the present, nor the future, nor any powers, neither height, nor death, nor anything in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Man, he's thorough, seriously. Paul wanted us to be absolutely sure that we belong to God. It doesn't mean that everything works out how we want it to, or that life is all gumdrops and roses. But it does mean that even in the hardest and most confusing moments, we can have hope knowing that nothing can keep us from belonging to God. Let's take a look at our memory verse. Let us love one another, for love is from God. And whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. 1 John 4, verses 7 through 8. But will you pray with me? Perfect. God, thank you so much for being able to have community. Thank you for belonging. Father, I ask that if we don't have friends right now, that you bring them to us, or at least open our eyes to see friends who may already be there, and family. Thank you so much, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. All right, let's go outside. And we're gonna see which one splats the most, this watermelon or this cantaloupe. Let's take it to the sky. First, the watermelon. Let's see that again. And now for the cantaloupe.
Looks like the watermelon wins the day. See you, See back, you back here, here tomorrow. tomorrow.